In the current development, one resource is indispensable, that is, the application of electricity. It is for this reason that there are more and more power stations. Among the traditional power generation modes, coal power generation is the most common, but this power generation mode has brought considerable pollution to our environment, and coal resources are also decreasing day by day. In addition to these, although there are hydropower stations, solar power, and wind power generation, but all of them cannot replace coal power generation in large quantities, so scientists have been exploring more power generation modes. In fact, in the current utilization of resources, nuclear energy has to be mentioned. Nuclear energy can provide the greatest energy, but now no one dares to touch nuclear energy. How to use nuclear energy safely is the biggest problem at present. Therefore, for many years, scientists have been trying to find a way to allow atoms to react automatically, and this reaction will not be stopped due to changes in the number of protons. This is the nuclear fusion we are going to talk about today. The Chinese scientists, at the end of 2001, developed the device named Shenguang-2. It can not only provide important guarantees for China's future nuclear fusion experiments, but also provide technical and platform support for the research and development of China's weapon systems. Therefore, once this super project is fully completed, the Chinese military will reach the top of the world. So, what is nuclear fusion? What is the current research progress of China's Shenguang 2? How will it make China invincible all over the world? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. When it comes to nuclear fusion, you may not be familiar with it, but the sun is carrying out nuclear fusion all the time. You can imagine that the earth is so far away from the sun, and our solar energy collection and utilization efficiency is so low, in this case, photovoltaic power generation can still meet part of our living and production needs. So if we can build a sun ourselves and use all the energy released by its fusion reaction, the future energy problems of mankind can be completely solved. However, in order to achieve this goal, the first difficulty facing mankind is how to initiate and restrain the nuclear fusion reaction. The reason why there is a steady stream of nuclear fusion reactions on the sun is because the sun itself is a hot sphere with high temperature and high pressure, and it has a strong gravitational force, so it can keep igniting the nuclear fusion reaction while restraining these atoms, protons that want to escape. The natural conditions of the Earth are obviously unable to meet the requirements of nuclear fusion. Therefore, people must build a sun-like device by themselves, which can provide ignition-level energy for the initial reaction of nuclear fusion of atoms, and then use relevant principles to bind atoms and protons during the reaction process to ensure that the reaction can be naturally continues in perpetuity. To this end, at the end of 2001, China invented a device named Shenguang-2. The device is a large-scale laser experiment platform independently developed by China. The purpose is to provide crucial laser technology for the large-scale nuclear fusion reaction devices, and help China to achieve a controllable, efficient, and safe nuclear fusion reaction. The project is divided into six subsystems, each of which has different application scenarios and functions. I will now give you a brief introduction. First, the laser system. This system is the main system of this project. With this system, the laser can be excited with controlled energy. Second, the range system. After the laser is fired, it needs to be shot at the designated location. Because the laser propagation and striking related data need to be collected later, and the laser has a certain risk, so it needs such a shooting range system to guide the laser to a fixed target. Third, the energy system. We all know that generating lasers requires energy. Lasers themselves are high-energy particle beams that require a large amount of concentrated, instantaneous energy to generate, which is similar to the electromagnetic catapult on an aircraft carrier. So, 
to coordinate and manage the scattered energy to provide centralized support for laser generation, such an energy system is needed. Fourth, the optical path autocollimation system. After the laser is fired, it needs to be corrected along the way. This does not mean to correct the laser beam itself, but to correct the transmitter so that the laser beam can reach the designated target point. To this end, an optical path automatic collimation system is needed, because the beam speed is fast, and it is too late for manual adjustment. Fifth, the laser parameter measurement system. There are related data generated in the laser manufacturing, launching, propagation, and strike processes. These data provide an important basis for researchers to find problems and make improvements afterwards. Therefore, such a parameter measurement system is required throughout the test. Sixth, the environment and quality assurance system. The overall impact of the laser experiment on the environment, as well as the quality of each system itself, need to be evaluated manually, which requires the support of the environment and quality assurance system. In a word, this super project can not only increase the value of clean energy and drive the development of related materials, processing industries, and chemical technologies, but also has great significance for the enhancement of the strength of the Chinese military. Under the conditions of modern warfare, whether the weapon system of a country is advanced or not directly determines the trend of the battlefield. For this reason, all countries in the world are stepping up the development of epoch-making weapons. Taking the United States as an example, we have seen that laser cannons, hypersonic weapons, small nuclear weapons, sixth-generation fighter jets, and new-generation strategic bombers have all entered the research and development. In this regard, China, of course, cannot let go. The Xinguang series of projects provide strong support for the next step in the development of high-energy weapons. As we all know, the difficulties in developing high-energy weapon systems mainly include the following aspects. The energy cannot be accurately and quickly focused on one point, and the focusing process takes a long time and has limited damage. The maneuverability of the weapon platform itself is extremely poor, and it cannot be carried on board, let alone empty. In terms of attack distance, due to certain restrictions, it is currently impossible to achieve long-distance attacks, let alone over-the-horizon strikes. However, the high-energy weapon systems has many advantages. First of all, the system can carry out directional and precise damage, and will not be unable to precisely attack the incoming target because the speed and position of the incoming target change too quickly. Secondly, the system does not suffer from any electromagnetic interference, and the interception speed is very fast. Thirdly, the system can be used as a means of defense, that is, to damage incoming aircraft and missiles, and can be used as an active offensive weapon. Finally, the system can destroy the enemy's active force, and even in the future it can implement a large-scale instantaneous damage combat mission to the enemy's active force. To do all of the above, we need to rely on a high-performance laser system, which is currently under development. It can not only provide important guarantees for China's future nuclear fusion experiments, but also provide technical support for the development of China's weapon systems. Therefore, once this super project is fully completed, the Chinese military will reach the top of the world. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. We will see you in the next video.